So, uh, the ATS-25 on WWV, 25 megahertz, so this is kind of cool, as we are receiving 25 megahertz here. Uh, this is on the MLE-30 uh, antenna, of course, loop, and a good signal. I haven't heard 25 megahertz in quite a long time, actually, so it's nice to hear this uh, today, and... Uh, Nice to see also the performance on the different ranges, including higher frequencies on the uh, ATS-25 uh, receiver. Uh, there's a lot of activity on the higher frequencies. You guys should tune around because I've been hearing uh, many stations from Europe today on uh, 50 meters, uh, between 21,000 and 21,450, a lot of upper sidebands activity. I heard Poland, France, Germany, uh, Slovak Republic and um, a few others um, and it was really really a lot of, of course a lot of US stations also have 15 meters was really full of activity higher solar flux higher solar activity is really helping out here and uh, including here on 25 megahertz with uh, WWV uh, experimental frequency a lot of people still think it's off that it was decommissioned in, in the 70s Remember, it came back uh, quite a few years ago, maybe seven or eight years ago. And it's experimental status. That means it could, of course, go off at any time. But uh, for now, it's on and it uh, works great. Um, time to QSL at 25 megahertz WWV if you haven't done so. So 25 megahertz WWV or 25,000 kilohertz. Same, for, same thing in the frequency. On the ATS-25 with the MLA-30 loop antenna.